What is up guys, DZ Fear, and how can I not talk about this? We got new spirit support announced for, I guess, two sets away, whatever rate is. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Edition Singapore posted this um, last week, a couple days ago, um, and I was super excited when I heard it, but I was so busy last week I couldn't actually make a video about it, but I wanted to because I think it's really important, and I'm ex super excited because after the huge letdown from the last spirit monster we got, uh, all four of these cards are fantastic. Um, the trap isn't super great, but we're, we're just going to talk through them. Um, so yeah, it's based on rituals, which is cool because it has synergy with pre-preparation rights. Um, the first card is level 8 winged, wind, wing beast type ritual spirit effect monster. So it's a ritual and a spirit. Um, you can only ritual summon the card with e-spirit calling, um, which we'll, you can see on there and we'll get to in a second. Um, it must be ritual summon and cannot be special summoned by other means. Right off the bat, we're breaking mechanics here. Um, I don't. There's definitely never been a ritual spirit monster, so that's pretty interesting. Um, but anyway, if it is ritual summoned, you can return up to three monsters my opponent controls to that owner's hand. Then you can special summon one level four or lower spirit monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. Um, that's insane right off the bat. But before we talk about that, also during the end phase of the turn, in this card. That this card is ritual summoned. Returning this card to the owner's hand, and if you do special summon two E Spirit tokens, um, the Wing Beast level four with fifteen hundred attack and defense. So this card's pretty cool. Um, bouncing three cards is awesome. It's like a Mist Worm type of deal. Um, but the main reason that you'd use this card is not only because it has a beefy three thousand attack, um, and also special summons level four lower spirit from your hand. Um, that just throws Nikki Tom on the board pretty much, but it makes um, some pretty interesting. Uh, rank 4 plays happen after you summon this and then um, you do get back sort of some because you're like losing a lot of tempo seems so bouncing back to your hand every turn um, so luckily um, you get two tokens when it's bounced back In interestingly you could also do something like summon Tsukiyomi flip this thing face down and it wouldn't bounce back to your hand and then when you flipped it back up it would just stay on the field perpetually because it doesn't check every single turn to bounce it back to the hand um, it just checks the turn that it was ritual summon so that's kind of cool um, the ritual spell card is also fantastic um, so you use it just to ritual summon him uh, tribute monsters from your hand or field and or banish spirit monsters from your graveyard whose total levels equal level of monster that will be ritual summoned um, or more so the or more is some people have speculated that either the translation's wrong or there, this could be like a kaleidoscope deal where you that causes kaleidoscope um where you can summon multiple uh ritual monsters um that would be handy if there was like a level four ritual spirit but we'll have to see with that one um, but more importantly, this card is a Necroz Mirror by letting you banish spirit monsters. So you can actually summon this guy um, just as a straight minus one, which doesn't sound super great, but in terms of ritual summoning, that's fine, because if you have like pre-preparation rights, that's a plus one right there, so you're just summoning him for a one for one with pre-prep. Um, but more importantly, you contribute stuff like Nikitama, and then seeing he's a spirit monster, you'll actually draw cards um, to make up for your investment, which is really great. Um, and the new level 4 monster is also fantastic. Um, level 4 wing beast, uh, same t stats as the tokens actually. Um, once per turn, if a spirit monster is normal or special summoned, you can draw one card from your deck, and during the end phase of turn, this card is normal, so flip face up, return to the hand. So, this card is like a complement to Nikitama, um, but it gets it for a special summon too. Um, one of the better plays that I was thinking of was like normal summon Nikitama. Extra normal summon into this guy, and then you can uh, ritual summon level eight um, using the on field Nikitama and a Nikitama in hand. Um, that'll let you draw three cards because you'll draw for both of the Nikitamas and for this guy. Um, and then if you activate the the ritual monster's effect, assuming you drew any level four spirit monster, you could special summon an, another guy um, and then make a rank four. It would just be honestly insane. That that's just a crazy field. Um, so while you are, like, losing cards because you're, like, ritual summoning, um, generally speaking, I mean, spirits have always been pretty good at maintaining card advantage, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then the last card is a trap. You only activate one effect of E-Spirit healing once per turn. Um, if a face of spirit monster you control is returned to your hand while this card is in your spawn trap card zone, you can target one card the opponent controls, destroy it. Uh, and then also, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish one spirit monster and give it a negate the attack, then end the battle phase. So mainly, what you're trying to do is every single turn, 
you're going to be having some spirits bounce back to your hand, and you you get to destroy an opponent's card for free. Um, I don't know if that's super useful, just because it's really slow. Um, if this card was a continuous spell, it would be pretty cool. Um, and then also it has a battle phase negating effect, which is kind of um, unimportant, I would say. Mainly you're using it just to like um, break even when your cards bounce back to your hand um, just by popping cards. If it was not limited to once per turn, I would say this card would be very playable. Because um, you would have end phases where you bounce like three monsters back to your hand, and then you like pop three and special summon two tokens. Um, but yeah, overall these cards are fantastic. There's like a lot of things you would like pre-prep, and then like the normal things that spirits want to be doing. Um, the level four is good even just by itself. Without if you decide to not play the ritual guy, he's just a good addition to a regular rank four spirit deck. Um, there's definitely some synergy with Icarus attack here that I would be willing to try out because the tokens that it leaves are um, wing beast. Uh, but yeah, this stuff's incredible. I'm super pumped. I'm glad that Konami made spirit cards that are all great and add on to the theme in ways that it just weren't previously there. Um, it makes playing a pure spirit deck a lot more um, likely and a lot more um, aggressive. You're not just sitting behind backer all the time. So I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just talk about this and show you guys what the new support was. Oh, I guess I can quickly... Yeah, there's their images. So we have... Um, that's going to take like five hours to upload. Uh, so you have the ritual spell, the spell card, or sorry, the ritual monster, the spell card, the the level four guy, and the the trap. But hopefully this means more sp spirit support. I mean, it means that I said this in the last video with the level nine guy, the Amaterasu. But uh, this means that Konami at least realizes spirits still exist and are willing to give them support down the line. Um, but yeah, I was super excited. Hopefully you guys are too, and I will catch you later. Bye.